Good morning and happy Easter to all of you. We'll begin this morning in the name of our risen Savior who on the third day conquered death through his resurrection. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this morning we have a psalm of victory in which we give thanks to God for his saving work. We praise him and we proclaim the wonders that he has done. The psalm is Psalm 118, and I'm going to read to you the first two verses and also verses 15 to 24. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let Israel say now, yes, his mercy endures forever. Loud shouts of victory are heard in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has done a mighty deed. The right hand of the Lord is lifted high. The right hand of the Lord has done a mighty deed. I will not die. No, I will live and I will proclaim the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not handed me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous enter it. I will give you thanks because you answered me and you have become salvation for me. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is from the Lord. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the word of God. In the first verses of the second section of this psalm, the psalmist speaks of mighty deeds, of a mighty deed that the Lord has done. There is a great deed that the Lord has accomplished. And although it doesn't specifically say here what the details of that great event is. In the next verse, verse 17, he gives us the result of this mighty deed. And it's the same for the Messiah as it is for us. I will not die. No. I will live. Death, the ultimate final punishment for sins, the ultimate final enemy, could not keep control over the Messiah. Yes, he had died on the cross. The disciples and Jesus' family, they could testify. They, they were witnesses of it. They were there. They were present when they took his body down from the cross. They were there when he was buried. They were there testifying, witnessing to what had happened when they put him in the tomb. He had died. Of course he had died. He had certainly died. It was true. There was no doubt. I mean, they were planning to return in a, after the Sabbath day to finish burying him. There was no doubt in their minds that he had died. But the promises of Jesus, the Messiah, always are kept. They always come true. And so exactly as he said was going to happen, on the third day, he rose. The struggle was over. But it didn't end with his defeat. Rather, it ended with his victory over death. He lives. The Messiah could certainly say, I will not die. No, I will live. And we rejoice because of it. But really, I think we sometimes forget the, the vast impact that this has for us. Many people, they look to Jesus as someone who is kind and someone who, who loved the poor and loved the, help, the helpless. Someone who, who was wise and, and, and gave people words that could help them in their lives. And they focus more than anything on those words and the part of his life before his death and resurrection. But that would be a misplaced focus. That would be focusing on a lesser important part of his life. No, Jesus really, he physically rose from the dead. He died and in three days he was living once again. This is the central event, the, the most important event in the entire Bible. It's the most important event in Christianity. Ultimately, the most important event in the history of the world, he rose. He died, was dead for three days, and he rose on that 
third day, and this was not something that was spiritual. No, it was physical. He was actually alive and breathing once again. He could truly say, I will not die, I will live. And it means that we also have the same thing. We can say that same thing and we can say it with full confidence that it is true. I will not die. I will live. Yes, we may die physically, mm -hmm, but we will also rise physically. Consider the impact that this truth has on your life. Consider what it means for you every single day. Think about what it would be like if every single day you woke up in the morning and you said, you repeated that phrase, I will not die. I will live. How will that impact you? I will not die. I will live. I mean, there's more fear than ever that exists right now in the world. Death has impacted this generation more than ever this year. But the Son of God in his resurrection, he gives us a response. I will not die. I will live. What peace, what security does the Savior give us through this, through his victory over death that is our victory over death as well? What confidence and trust, what thanksgiving do we have knowing that when we die, it is not the end. We will live again. What tranquility, what peace, what calm does this give us? What, what peace do we have when we no longer fear death? And maybe this is the case more than ever when it's someone we've lost, when it's a loved one who has died in the faith, what comfort the resurrection gives us. Psalm 20 says, This is the gate to the Lord, the righteous enter it. The gate to the Lord is our Savior. It's Jesus. He said it himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. There is no greater comfort than the resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ. Because of this, because of these, of these, of this wonderful good news that God has given us, we can't help but proclaim it. He is risen. He is risen indeed. We, we declare the wonders of the Lord. That's what the psalmist is talking about. He says, I will not die. No, I will live and I will Proclaim the works of the Lord. It's the good news that God gives us in the resurrection of the dead. And just as that good news spread like wildfire, I mean, just one day it was a handful of people, but thousands of people in just a few weeks. It's still spreading. By your witness, by your testimony, and the peace and, and the tranquility and the calm and, and, the, and the security and the trust and confidence in the Lord, they go along with that good news. He lives. And because he lives, I will not die. I will live. That's our message. May it keep spreading through you without fear. To the ends of the earth. Brothers and sisters, we conclude just as our reading today concludes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The struggle is over. He has risen. He has risen indeed. Amen. Thank you to all of you for joining us on this Easter morning. Thank you for listening or thank you for watching this online message. May the peace of Christ be with you always, but especially today on this Resurrection Sunday. Amen.